Hi, my little caffeine bats. This is the second time I'm recording this. First time, I don't know what happened to the video. It just went... Oh, I'm not going to work for you. Anyways, so, um... I know I was supposed to make a video yesterday. But, um... My doctor's appointment took way too long. Like, I went in there around 2.30... And I didn't get out until almost 5 o'clock. And it was... It was crazy. Yeah. I've been... So this whole liquid diet thing so far, because yesterday marked one week of the liquid diet. And, um... Basically, I've been doing decent on it. Like, you know, it's a liquid diet. Ooh. It, it's, I know it sounded easy in the beginning, like, oh, the liquid diet, oh, that's not going to be easy. And then as soon as I get into it, it's like, nope, 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 nope. The first week, I felt like I was starving to death. Like, I was legit starving to death, but now it's a lot less than that. Um, I'm more accustomed to the liquid, so it's not as bad unless there's something that smells really good that everybody else is cooking and I'm just like <sighs> uh, but you know besides that you know because that's that's a normal human reaction to the smell of something that's good though but um yeah I've been so exhausted I could like I was up doing some stuff and then I sat down made the video I wish I could have shown you because I looked like I was about ready to drop in that video, and then right after I was waiting for it to upload, and I was gone. I was out, and uh, I was out for maybe two hours, just sitting here two hours, sleeping. Like, there was really nothing to it. I... Yeah, I, I barely remember. I remember uh, lifting my head up a few times and then my earphones falling off because I was wearing earphones before, but that's about it. And I... Uh, but yeah, yesterday, I fell asleep on the drive to my appointment. Um... I fell asleep during my appointment because literally I was in there for that long, you know. The doctor, the RN, came in. Wait, it's the registered nurse, right? RN? Yeah. The RN came in. She took my vitals and stuff. I had, I I think it's because I've been tired and stuff, but my heart rate was 102 over 70. She said that was good, but it seems a little low to me. Especially for me, but I think it's because I've been so tired and stuff, you know? You think that could be it? Yeah. And, um... Yeah, she, she took my temperature and all that, and... Yeah. And then she left. She said, okay, I'm gonna tell the next person you're ready, because I was gonna see uh, three people in there at the same time in the same place. So I sat there for like 20 minutes and I had drifted off a couple times in between that. And um, she came in, we talked about a few things, and. Um, hold on, I have the paperwork right here. Oh, she talked about um, pre surgery instructions, you know. Absolutely no food after midnight on the night before. A, a clear liquid diet that whole day. Um, I, you know, and then so on and so forth. Leave all values at home so I have to take my earrings out. Everything. I have to remember to pack my CPAP machine, which you can see right back there. Um, I was, uh, oh. Yeah, they were telling me not to take, uh, any of my uh, medication the day before, and um, I was given this thing, but I'm not too worried about it. And then 
surgical SSI uh, surgical site infection is what that was. If you guys didn't see it, I'm sorry. Um. Anyways, and then she left, and it was about a half an hour before the next uh, before the anesthesiologist got into the room. Like I had drifted off and have fell, fallen asleep maybe four times in between her living and him coming in. So, I had fallen asleep in that time, and uh, he came in, told me a few things, you know, and then he left. And then I was about ready to, like, literally fall asleep again when he popped his head back in and said... He asked me what I was taking metformin for because metformin, as some of you know, is to treat pre-diabetes and diabetes type 2 um, to help regulate your insulin back into a normal thing, you know, back to normal or what it has been. And um, I was like, no, I uh, take it for PCOS, you know, some of you know what it is. It's a... Uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which means I have a imbalance of male to female hormones. Um, one of the main symptoms of the PCOS is actually male pattern hair growing, so sometimes you guys notice I get sideburns growing in. I grow them better than uh, my cousin does, and I have... I have a little bit of chin hair down here. Um, yeah. So I have a little bit of chin hair growing, and then... Yeah. Some really hairy legs. I have really hairy legs. Okay, but you guys didn't want to know that. Anyways. Sorry. Um, but he left, and then they took blood. The lady came in and took my labs, and... I was finally able to leave. And in that time, I wasn't able to make it because I was going to walk down. It's like a third of a mile, like 0.3 miles. I think that's what a third of a mile is. You guys will know better. Uh, down to the bariatric clinic, which is just down the way from there. But since it was so late, I wasn't able to make it down there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but... Uh, it was crazy yesterday. And then, um, I got, yeah, but yeah, this whole liquid diet, it, it's not easy, you guys, it's not easy. Some people make it look easy, but like, behind the doors, you know, behind closed doors, I'm pretty sure they struggle. They're struggling, they're like out in the open, oh, it's fine, I'm doing really good. But behind closed doors, it's like, oh, snap, what am I doing? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I, I do. I late at night when I wake up, because sometimes I just don't sleep at night, you know. Because I end up falling asleep for so, for a long time during the day. And, um, uh, I end up, I walk into the kitchen and I open up the refrigerator just to look at the food. Just to look. I mean, I have stuff in there, but I just open it to look at it. It's, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Anything gets me through. It's just like, oh, I remember the taste of you. Mm, baby, get in my belly. No, just kidding. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys, I'm going to stick it in the... In the description below, I have, um, I opened up a Coffee Vampire merchandise store with a design that I made, um, a while back, and I've been excited to show you guys, so I'm going to finally put it in the link below. Nobody has to buy anything. Nobody is obligated to buy anything. It's there to be there, because I know I'm, like, way before 1,000 subscribers, and normally that's about the time you throw that stuff out there for people. But I'm just going to throw it out there now. Um, I mean, I might add more designs in the in, later. Later on, I have I have some other designs that I want to throw out there, you know. But for right now, I just have the one design 
Um, it's a cell, it's a drawing. I drew it, so just want to let you guys know about that. I I drew it because I'm a good drawer. So yeah, that'll be in the description below. And um, I guess I'm gonna let you guys go, and I will see you in less than a week for the next video. We're gonna do another um reveal thing, another body thing pre-surgery um we'll do a weigh-in and all that so it'll be fun and stuff all right my little caffeine bat uh, bats you guys take care mm. remember to be beautiful and be you unique bye